Welcome back, everyone. This morning, dozens of PM employees will set out to read over 20,000 meters across the metro. If you think it sounds like a stress free, no danger type of job, think again. News 13's Sarah Yingling went for a ride along and saw the dangers they come across on a daily basis firsthand. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. Well, these meter readers must be prepared for anything from weapons being pulled on them to dangerous drivers to changing weather. But it turns out their biggest concern is man's best friend. Their morning starts just after day breaks. 52 employees head out on their routes for meter reading work. Each route has the meters that are scheduled for today. But what they don't know is what they'll come across as they go from house to house. That's why we always say expect the unexpected. On average, a PNM meter reader will walk about 10 miles a day. That's the easy part of their job. PNM meter reading. John Paul Ulibarri says his main concern are the dozens of dogs he encounters every day. <laughs> Ulibarri says the danger comes from having to walk onto properties to read the meters. Over, you can see the meters right there. Again, you want to make sure you stay back because the dog will will come up and try to bite you. Or when dogs become loose, like this one. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let's go back to the yard. While not every dog is aggressive, Yulabari says they're always prepared for an attack with an umbrella and pepper spray on hand. If you see that it's being aggressive, the first thing you want to pull out is your umbrella. You pull it out, pop it open, makes you look bigger. But then there are the cases that Yulabari says no meter reader can prepare for, like when someone pulls out a gun. We had an incident earlier where Somebody tried to rob one of our guys while he was out on a route. Yulabari says they also deal with irate customers who yell and threaten violence. For this four-year veteran, it's all in a day's work to make sure you're not overcharged. We're really here to make sure that we're not only being safe, but reading them accurately, as accurate as possible. And Yulabari says meter readers don't typically carry their wallets as a precaution and that dangerous situations like this happens often, which means they always need to keep their head on a swivel. Back to you. All right, thanks so much, Sarah. Employees say they also face changing weather conditions, especially rain, sleet, and snow in the colder months, and heat exhaustion in the summer. Just recently, an icicle actually fell on an employee's windshield while reading a meter on Sandia Peak.